be moving on to the mountains tomorrow, but we'll be sticking around here. Look at that thing. That is awesome. Well, we're just getting everything set here. We drove about an hour and a half north of Trujillo. And the main reason we're here is just for a knob build duck. It's completely different. We're not next to the coast here. We're probably about 45 minutes away from the coast and there's sugar cane everywhere. But what happens is they have to irrigate the sugar cane so there's a lot of man-made lakes. So what these ducks do is they just chill in these lakes. They don't move very much, so there's a high concentration of them here. So it's one of those things, ducks didn't come to us, we're gonna go to them. Down the end of this road, it looks like there's a, a few lakes there. We're just gonna kind of ease up and we're gonna spot and stalk these ducks actually. So it's completely different than normal duck hunting, but this is how it's gonna be a good portion of this trip here in Peru. <laughs> oh, way out there, okay. Are those ones too that just flew by? Oh, those are, yeah. Y no sería tu 17 chamarra? We're gonna we're gonna scoot up here on this side and get the bird boys to go around the back. Right, see if this way. Push up this okay. way. See if they can get We've got some spotted over here. We're gonna get set up and the guys are gonna actually go around see if they can't push them all the way. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have you and your dad a little further that way. Okay. And then these guys are gonna go down this and and then he's gonna bring the truck and he's gonna go around the back side like this. Okay. So we'll have two two groups of bird boys going around like this. And they feed back there. There's there's a farmland yeah with corn and mm -hmm. rice and all that. So they're gonna go that way. Perfect. There's nothing in those mountains back there. Sneaking down to the corner, I can see him. He's gonna be about 100 yards down that way. And there are birds flying all over here. There's a large pile of them over on the other side, and hoping that they fly over top of our head here because they feed behind us. Apparently, there's some egg fields back there. Two coming right there. I've seen pictures of these birds, but this is the first time I've seen them with my own eyes, and they are a lot larger than I would expect it. Just a kind of a goofy looking bird with a big old knob on its head. White neck and kind of speckled. There's a fly over there. There's enough birds here that I think somehow we'll get one or two of them in hand this morning.
Oh, we have seen a bunch of birds this morning. They're all right in the center, but they seem to want to go. There's this little cove right over here. I wouldn't even call it a cove. There's a little finger of brush that sticks out. And for whatever reason, they keep wanting to land or swim over there. So we're going to walk across and tuck ourselves right into that brush. And hopefully over the next hour or so, another pair or something will work its way in there. We're just bouncing around looking at different ponds and lakes right now trying to catch up with the knob bill tucked on the side or something like that. Obviously where we were at this morning there were a ton of them there so we know where they're at but right now they're all in the middle of that lake. So we were planning to bounce to the mountains tomorrow. We're probably going to readjust, spend another night here, go at it again tomorrow morning but between now and then we're just going to bounce around take a look at some of these ponds, maybe get lucky. So we just need one so it's not like we need to see 500 like we did this morning, just looking for one. Getting a little low on shells. Yeah, we are getting a little low on shells. Heads up. Gracias. That's pretty cool. So they call this here a Bahama pintail, which basically from Argentina, it's a white cheek pintail, which we got into quite a bit. And I did pretty much all the research that I could. And even though they call them a Bahama pintail here, it is a white cheek pintail, same as same that's in Argentina, but 
pretty productive little sit right here. We got into a ton of cinnamons and then obviously this Bahama pintail as well, which is awesome for the afternoon. We've still got a few hours. We're gonna go grab some lunch and then we're gonna head back out this afternoon to that same lake we were at this morning where the, the knob bill ducks are and see if we can't play that game with them again. And this time I think we, hopefully if they're tucked on that shore where they were first thing, right when we got there, I think we got a plan to be able to get them within range. spot we were this morning that would have flew right over us. came close tonight, had one and hit it twice as it was kind of doing a left to right, but it was a poke out there and you could tell it hit him both times and thought he was gonna go down, but still just continued on in the water here. So pretty tough one to start because this is what we're hunting the coast for is a knob bill duck and we're supposed to be moving on to the mountains tomorrow, but we'll be sticking around here. Hopefully we'll be able to work down this channel and get, get a shot at a knob bill that's a little bit closer than that one I had to take tonight. Still a, Still a bunch of birds flying right now, but we're running out of daylight, so we're going to get out of here. Well, we were walking out, and Dad's on the opposite shore over here, and heard him shoot and actually saw it fall down. So he's definitely got a knob bill duck down over there. They're going to try to go and get it here before it gets too dark. That's pretty sweet. I can't wait to actually see one in my hands. been watching them all day. Yeah, he's got it. Ah, swing. Yeah, right there. Right now. He's a rizzer. 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 Every now and then. He's a rizzer. He's a rizzer. one. We saw it coming down and you hammered it right on the side. Yeah, I hit it like three times. Oh, yeah. And then it, I, I think it was, yeah, I'm ready. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> One shell left. Yeah. I can't wait to actually see it. Well, it's a little late, but Dad did get a knob duck here. This is actually a hen, but seeing all these colors and the size, after watching them all day, it's pretty cool to see one up close. Good shooting, Ed. Thank you. Well, we got one, but we'll be back here tomorrow, hopefully looking for a drake. So, saw a bunch of them here, know they're in the area. I think we got a better game plan for tomorrow.
happen first thing. Two knob-billed ducks down. They're gonna hunker down here because they just started flying. Macho? I think macho. <laughs> wow, is it good? Ah, uh, no macho. Hey. No. Emma? Hello? Emma, Emma. Oh, Close no. Emma. Yeah. That's right. Mas. Oh. <laughs> Two hands. Macho? Macho. Ah, si. Sí. There we go. Sweet. Got a drake and a hen knob bill. Macho. We took that yet. Hey, good boy. Oh, yeah. Look at the knob on that thing. Dos machos. Dos machos. Dos machos. Good boy. Gracias. Good boy. This right here is what we came for this morning. Get knob bill, look at that thing. That is awesome. Two drakes. So yesterday we were set up way on the other side and we could just tell there were a bunch of birds over here. And Angelo had the idea to kind of walk across, get on this island. And wow, did it work right at first light. Had a couple of groups do it. How cool is that? A knob bill duck in Peru. Just huge. The size of that. It's actually about the size of a lesser goose in the U.S. Just amazing and so different from everything else. Now it's time to head to the mountains, which I'm looking forward to. That was the real reason I came. Indian goose, I can't wait to actually see one. That little island right there, that is the spot to hunt knob bills. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, buddy. That's Good awesome. Job. Good job. <laughs> you missed him swinging. swinging. I, I saw his <gasps> video. <laughs> the Michael Phelps. At one, bird point, boy. at one point, Lee looked, he goes, he going to be okay? Is he going down? <laughs> When he had the two birds and all of a sudden his head would go on, you're like, he may not come back out. Hey, as long as he saves the bird, we're good. <laughs> I think yesterday with all, when all the birds were here, if you would have been there, it would have been oh, yeah. stupid for like oh, yeah. 25 minutes. Yeah. <clears throat> the big flocks kept doing kept doing this. Yesterday? Kept, yeah, kept going around. They went all the way to the, to the back over there and then they would come back out. Today I went over the hill to the back and this big flock came like this. On the back and side. I saw them come around from behind you. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Such a cool bird, though. Yeah, cool. and you got two drakes, yeah. so it's even better. That's pretty awesome. What's it called again? Chicha de Jora. It's made from corn. Let's see the front of it. Guardada por cuatro años para que fermente. Gracias. Gracias por su visita. Cheers. Cheers. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Heladita. 